Hey guys, it's me, Kiana, and today is the first day of the reading rush. And I have already finished a book. I finished. So I finished uh, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, and this uh, follows a girl who. Oh, also, the front of this feels like it's like interweaving. Also. But yes, so this follows Zoe. Zoe? Zoe. I just, Claudia, oh my gosh. Claudia accidentally overhears um, one of the, t um, the it couple break up at the beginning of this book. And so, as this goes on, this was, um, she's trying to avoid Iris, who was one of the, one half of the it couple, um, at all costs. But then they unexpectedly have to get partnered together. And through that, she finds friendship and the writing of this was really really good like it was so good it was fun it was like easy relatable and she the um emma mills also wrote like found family and the feeling of like having someone to um introducing someone to you like your fandom um and i love like the boy bands in here and the boy band in here where iris i mean claudia gets introduced to a pacific boy band um through iris and the feeling of introducing someone to your fandom your favorite fandom and like you guys drawing um becoming closer because of it it's just so amazing also gus i mean not gus gideon wow it is to start with a g but gideon is just a sweetie pie he is adorable um i love this and i rate this a 4.3 out of 5 stars i quite enjoyed myself i listened to this on audiobook started this morning and then i finished it by the end of today so finished the book off my list i also knocked off three challenges with this one which is the color of my birthstone challenge first book i touched and oh yes and this was the outside challenge so i listened to this all on audiobook in my car um why my battery is oh no okay so I started the best laid plan the I am on page two chapter three um of the best laid plan so I'm, we're just getting to know the characters a bit um of this one so I can't really tell you too many feelings about the pre the next three books that I started um so yeah I actually started these in three different forms so I'm actually going to read this one as in physical and then I also started They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. I started this on ebook. <laughs> so indecisive. So I was like, I didn't realize I started all three of them. But here we are. Now I own all three of them. And so yeah, so I am reading along with the e arc in between e arc and the book. And I'm not at my house. I am reading it on my ebook. So I am on chapter, what is it, chapter two or something? Yep. Oh, wow. This is a long chapter one. So chapter one, but I'm like barely into barely. I can't. We're just getting introduction to the characters um, of this group called the Players, and they what just right off the bat, you already know someone has died, and they have this funeral, this essentially this moment of silence every year um, since one of their friends have died from from died. So we don't know how, we don't know who. That's I think the whole point. I'm gonna say in a boarding type school with a very elite group of close knit friends and who knows how close they were because y'all going around killing folks like what the world um so we don't know so right now we just get an introduction to the characters right now um yeah I don't have a favorite character right at this point because I I feel like everyone is unreliable at this point so i don't really need to i don't think i need to trust anyone at this point in this book <laughs> um and then i also started miss you by katie eberling on audiobook um that's a 13 hour audiobook so it's going to take me probably a day approximately a day and a half ish if i use essentially every opportunity to, at work to listen to it um it'll take me a day and a half but i just started it as I left my job so and I'm only on pay I'm on page 42 ish I still have to like match up the audio with whatever page is on and then do it from there so yeah I started this one um I think I don't know what book I'm going to continue um I think I may 
the best laid plans maybe because I started this morning. This is the physical, the only physical one that I'm technically starting. And this is the ebook and the audio. So we'll see. But essentially I just did a, a try a chapter and that's what happened. Um, but what is I'm pulling towards is best laid plans and they wish they were us. Because I think I'm just going to let miss you listen to that on audiobook maybe only. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, so those are the books. And I, I think that was a quite a successful first day already. But I will update you guys later in the next clip. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Kiana. And today is day two of The Reading Rush. And I'm going to probably upload day one and then day two today um and i want to give you guys some updates so this morning i read about 20 or 25 pages of the best laid plans by cameron lude and i'm liking it so far it's very not dramatic but like it's very teenagey and it's like very realistic of how teenagers think and i quite enjoying him. I'm also enjoying Andrew even though Andrew thinks he's a player. He's like gallivated, gallivanted, gallivant, gallivated, whatever. Um, around the school, they are at the point, we're at the point of the book where they're discussing, um, she's met Dean, which is literally James Dean in her mind. His name is really Dean, y'all. Um, and they, she got a job at the record store and so they are, she's trying to weed through this her feelings about Dean but also also considering even more so the to see if Andrew I I guess she's not really considered she's considered one of the boys essentially around his friends because <laughs> yeah it's quite realistic to say the least I also like Andrew but like Andrew he's getting I feel like I'm seeing a turning point a little bit now because he's doing like certain things that always book boyfriends do they're like oh well i don't really know how i feel about you like liking some other dude or whatever so we'll see how this pans out but this plan with her and like andrew i don't think this is gonna work it's not gonna work out it, it doesn't but we're at page 90 i'm at page 90 chapter 10 i always have to um i always have to stop at a chapter at like the beginning of a chapter if i'm I need to finish a chapter and then bookmark it and then step up to the next one because I can't just stop in the middle <laughs> of a reading, I mean of a chapter. I also got like to four hour, no. So I am practically halfway through, maybe a little bit, a little bit, okay, a little bit more than 50% of way through of Miss You by Kate Eberling and this involves some cheating um to the nth degree like it was to say the to say that this I was just trying to just trying to figure out how he thought that was a good idea and also why <laughs> so this spans 16 years and so they start off meeting each other at a chance meeting in a church in Florence Italy and she Tess is going with um visiting with her best friend before she starts college and they chance meet Tess it starts in August 1997 right now I am on 2003 so <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna actually get together like they should right because this is more leaning toward women's fiction than like romance because yes it's like tinges but like it's not like the main theme of it um this is like one of those it, it like immerses you in this world of two characters and you're trying to figure out okay do i like you some of your choices are not really that smart but like also you're human so like yeah but like the cheating bro i was like uh uh, what we not about to do that was on so many types of wrong who he cheated with i was like bro really you could have had any other choice any other choice but let me let you cheat with your dead brother's girlfriend make that make sense to me because I, I don't understand it 
But anywho, um, I like Tess. Tess is also, she, Tess had to grow up a bit, um, fast because at the beginning of the book, they're both 18. 17? 17? Right? 18. There we go. <laughs> 18. And so they both have, they both have went through some difficult and devastating, like, losses and, uh, situations. And so... Tess had to grow up a little bit early because she had to take care of her sister because we learned at the beginning of the book that both some a member of their family um of each of them has died one of them has died so we kind of see that domino effect of the rest of their actions throughout the book so okay so I'm on page 264 I'm almost done with this I have like four according to hoopla i have four hours no i listened to six hours of this audio we got here to see that oh there we go Ooh, boom right there so i have five hours and 13 minutes remaining in this book thank the lord so i should probably finish it tomorrow because i've been listening to it mostly to work at work and then i should want to pick up the best late plans um later on tonight Right now, I'm getting my expenses and my budget together because, oof. Um, yeah, so those are my updates. I will see you guys on, in two days. <laughs> because when you guys see this, it'll be two days. I'll see you guys on the flip side. And I uh, hope you guys are all having a great reading rush. If you're not participating, let me know what com what books you're currently reading in the comments. Because I'm always interested to see what y'all are um reading and yeah